This is Dr. Carl Manukian of the Vein Treatment Center and VeinsVeinsVeins.com discussing the incidence and prevalence of telangiectasias or spider veins in patients with venous disease. It has been determined that the prevalence of telangiectasias in the general population in the United States varies between 50% to 70% depending on patient age. Patients older than 40 years of age have an incidence near 60%. Telangiectasias affect women more often than men. In the SEEP, capital C, capital E, capital A, capital P, classification of venous disease, telangiectasias are classified as SEEP C1 disease, capital C and the number 1, SEEP C1 disease. The higher the number and 6 being maximum or SEEP, Six disease indicates venous stasis ulceration. It has been estimated that the venous insufficiency occurs in as many as 45% of patients with telangiectasias, according to a study done by Engelhorn and colleagues. This was published in the journal Dermatologic Surgery in 2007, volume 33, pages 282 to 288. There is considerable debate in regards to the occurrence of symptoms in patients with telangiectasias. Patients with telangiectasias or SEEP C1 disease often have accompanying symptoms of leg swelling, cramping in the legs, and restless legs more than patients who don't have obvious venous disease or SEEP C0 disease. For the evaluation and treatment of telangiectasias in patients with or without symptoms, contact our office at the Vein Treatment Center with offices in Williamsville, New York, and Clarence, New York, or, or call 716-839-3638. For more information, you can access and read my six books that have been published and are available on www.peacebridgehealthcare.com. This is Dr. Karamanukian of the Vein Treatment Center and veins, veins, veins.com. Thank you very much.